to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss another video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well so I know what type of videos you guys like to watch. In today's video, we're going to be creating a mood board. I've actually created a few mood boards the past years. If you guys want to see any of those videos, the link will be down below so you guys can check that out. And today, we're going to be doing our 2023 mood board, which is an inspiration board for the upcoming year. Alrighty, you guys, so we are on the floor. We have our markers. Let's show our markers. Yeah. We have markers. What yeah. else do we have? We have the glue. Yeah. Where are the scissors? Oh, we need to wind them up and take them off. And then we have our scissors. No, we need to sew. And then we got our photos from Walmart, which you guys can print them out. It only takes an hour for them to print out, and then you can pick it up from the store. So super easy. You just need you need a poster board, and these poster boards were only 50 cents at Walmart, so everything's at Walmart. Everything you need to create a mood board is at Walmart. So yeah, very easy, very simple, and you can do this with your kids too. It's never too late for them to start up their goals and everything. All right, so I already have my photos printed out, and I like to start with a quote in the middle of our mood board. And I got this mood board idea from a YouTuber, actually, Amber Scholes. I have spoken about her on mood boards on my last videos of mood boards. And yeah, she's what got me to doing mood boards. She's like so inspiring. So if you guys know Amber Scholes, she is a good YouTuber. She's, she's real. So I'm going to be putting this in the middle of my mood board. And it says, you don't grow when you're comfortable, which is true. So I have all my photos laid out and we're going to get to gluing. And then after that, we can decorate everything. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, I like how your mood board's going. Thanks. Guys, I'm using glue. For these books to make my book day. Hey, I need a glue. All right, you guys, here is my 2023 mood board. And we're going to go over all the photos and everything that I put on here and let you guys know what each thing means to me for 2023. So this photo right here is just meaning like I have money, I don't need to worry. And then this one right here is for journaling. I actually did start journaling this year, but um, I want to get more into that. So I put that on there because sometimes I'm like, oh, I forgot to journal today. So I just want to be on my journal. I just want to be on my journaling game, so I want to do that. And then this one right here is more of, I want to do something with fitness, business-wise. So that is there. I don't know what it's going to be, but something fitnessy. And then this one actually has two things going on. So my phone is, it's, it's messed up. Like, it's cracked. I mean, it was given to me cracked, so... Obviously, it wasn't getting even more cracked, so I need to get a new phone. And her nails are cute, and those are the nails I want. I want to have nails every month. I don't normally do my nails, so that's something I want to do is start doing my nails a lot. And then I put these lovely candles here because they just look soothing. They look like they're at peace, and that's what I want, peace. So I put candles on there. So we're going to migrate over here and we have boxes. Why you ask? Because I'm trying to get the hell out of here. So boxes. Yes, we are moving. Then we have my TikTok on here. I want to grow on TikTok, especially for like my workout videos and everything that I've been posting on there. I'm on day 184. So that I want to keep on continuing. I post a video every day except for Sunday and Saturdays. And then here we have my other social, which is my Instagram. I want to be more photogenic. I want to have better photos, better looking photos. I need to get my Instagram in line of my YouTube channel, which is going towards workout videos. And I need to gain more followers and everything like that. So yeah, I want to work on that as well. 
Then we have this closet. So I wear a lot of dark colors. So I wanna get more into these pretty, like, I don't know, I'm gonna get into pretty outfits and stuff. Like, this was actually on one of my mood boards and I said I dressed like a hobo. So yeah, I'm still kind of dressing like a hobo, so I need to upgrade. Like, I need to stop playing. Time to upgrade. And then this one right here, it says opportunity just ahead. So if you guys didn't know, I had a little collaboration with Good American this year, and I want to have more collaborations with businesses. I'm hoping more fitness brands, um, pre-workout companies, you know, stuff like that. I would really love to be in that. Um, and then we, here we have my YouTube channel. I actually just uploaded this one right here. Um, yeah, I need to um, make more videos. I've been lacking, so we need to get on that. Which is why we're here right now, creating a mood board. Um, let's see. Look at this. Traveling. This girl wants to travel somewhere that's other than seeing her family. Because that's all she does. It's go to see her family. Like, this. I'm sorry, but I'm just kind of... I get sick when I go there, so there's no point of going there anymore. Except for maybe one more time, because I have a graduation to go to. Or two to go to, I should say. But other than that, after that, I am done so with that place and your girls will be seeing the world i hope no i know i am oh. um and then look jim 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 so i've been working out in my house for 184 days i have not touched a gym membership once in my lifetime and i think it's kind of time to do that to get a gym membership but it's so hard when you have nobody to watch a kid what the fuck? Who is this? Somebody just pulled up into my... Oh, never mind. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. It is hard to uh, find a nice gym if they don't have, like, childcare or whatever, especially if you're a single mom. Yeah, that's hard. And, yeah, eat healthier because girl been eating noodles with uh, eggs, and that's not good. That's not good at all. Alright you guys, that's the end of this video and I will see you guys next time.